Hey everybody and welcome back to Undertale. We just had dinner with Sans and we're closer to the end than I thought we were, so this might be over soon. Let me go to full screen here and let's get into it. Ah, head out the front. What does this note say? Hey. Hi. Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Oh. Well. What's up here? Hey! More stuff to buy. Ooh, junk food. Hmm. It's all defense. Mystery key. Get some good old junk food. And then some more. I'm just gonna fill up on junk food, like in real life. Alright! Uh, my inventory is full. I'm gonna go. What do y'all have to say? What do you have to say about Alphys? Alphys. She was like a big sister. I mean, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump, okay. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird, these weird cartoons. She became the royal scientist. And we haven't seen her in forever. Hmm. The royal scientist? Alphys has always thought Asgore is a super cutie. I will. Oh, well. So I'm pretty sure she made Meditin to, like, totally impress him. <laughs> A robot with a soul. It's like super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Meditin, Asgore asked her to do all this science stuff for him. But nobody's seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must like stay in her lab all day. Live a little. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Goodbye. Later and stuff. Yeah. Alright, so maybe I do need to go in the restaurant. Where Sands took us up this way. What does this way lead to? Nothing. Sands must have had his face through the wall to get to the restaurant. Ah, here we are. So we need to go. What's over here? Oh, core! There you go. I want to explore this place just a little bit. What's over here? Ah, room service. Got my CT. Sure. No, you don't. <laughs> it's locked from the inside. Room service. Got my cinnamon bun. No. Ben, why are you here? You hear shuffling. Seems like you can put something under the door. Puts or no puts. I will put. But you didn't have anything appealing. Well, there you go. Alright, I don't know what this dude's deal is. It looks like he's cleaning up himself, so I'm just gonna let him keep doing that. What's up? What's in here? Ooh, the Burger Emporium. Home of the Glam Burger. Nice. Steak in the shape of Meditin's face. <laughs> Don't ask, please. Um, here's four, heals 40 HP. Oh, this is all the stuff that can heal me. Oh, well, I, don't, I can't buy anything. What do you have to say, though? I'm sorry, it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Well, sh wow. You're mean. You're mean. Elevator is in use. Cool. All right, going to the core then. Woo! Core time. Here we go. Who might you be? Who are they? Nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh, well, we can't worry about that now. Uh, I can worry about it if I want to, right?
Ready? This is it. Take the elevator up to the top of the core. Is this really it? What's over here? Hey, why don't you try to use the uh, elevator first? Watch it. Oh, who are you? Magic pops out of its hat. What are you? This magical mercenary only says magic words. Oh. What happens if I fight you? Tinkle, tinkle, hoy. Yeah, you betcha. Wow, these attacks are very, very menacing. Alakazam! Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, I, I put this up there. Hey! I won. My love increase. Awesome, that was low. Why are there so many monsters here? It's no problem, right? You just gotta keep heading forward. like you can't proceed until you hit the switch. But those lasers will activate when you do. It's like they'll come in this order. Orange, orange, blue. Got it? Move until the third one. Orange, orange, blue. Got it. Ah. So I, I, uh, okay. Uh, oh my god, are you hurt? A little bit? I'm fine. I'm so sorry, I gave you the wrong order. It's fine. Everything's gonna be fine, alright? Let's just keep heading to the right. Alright, let's do it. A crossroads. Um, try heading to the right. Wait, no. I think you should head up. Okay, I'll head up. Or... Night night! Megaton mercenary wields the good morning star. Goodbye, he says. Oh. Mm, menacing. Ha! Close your eyes. Nah, I'm good. Whoa, that was flashy. Nice. Adieu. Just hide in the corner. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. I'm getting a bit low on health, aren't I? Bye. Oh boy! Okay. This should do it. Ha! There we go. We're getting a lot of XP though. Sorry, I thought that. Let's try the right path instead. Uh, Alphys. Alright. More lasers. Okay, I won't mess around this time. I'll just deactivate the lasers and let you through. They're not turning off. I can't turn them off. It's okay, I have this under control. I'm gonna turn off the power for that whole node. Then he can walk across. Okay, go. Oh, that's a lot of lasers. Wait, stop. The power is turning itself back on. Oh, dang it. This isn't supposed to... I'm gonna turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little and then stop. Okay? You won't get hurt. Oh, boy. Oh, it's one of these. Stop in the middle. Oh, boy. Oh boy, go! Okay. See, I've got everything under control. Everything's under control. There we go. Okay, you should... I 
don't know. This doesn't look like my map at all. I'm sorry, I have to go. What? You better not be betraying me on this. Oh, so. North, the warrior's path. West, the sage's path. Any path leads to the end. Is this really it? I was told there were three ways this game could end. It depends on which way I go. East is just the end. North is the warrior's path, where I might have to fight Asgore, and the sage's path is west. Big decision here, big decision. I'm gonna go west. Solve this puzzle and the end will open. What's up here? There's a glam burger inside the trash can. Will you take it? No, I don't have any room. What does this say? Why not relax and have a nice snack? Yeah, no. Let's go this way. Traverse the northern room and the end will open. Ah, uh, more monsters. When's a lot final froggit appear? Final froggit! I feel like I know how to beat the froggit. The future looks brighter and brighter. Oh no. Oh boy. I'm getting my butt kicked! Crap! I just lost half my health! Oh no, oh no, oh boy. No, that didn't hit, please don't die. Oh. You should be able to die fast. Ah, oh, crap, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm dead. Oh boy. Crap. <laughs> So close! I didn't realize I was so close. I'm so close. Okay. We're gonna try going west again. What's this way? A puzzle. I see. Oh, I get two shots. There we go. Congratulations! Alright. I accept my defeat. This is tough. Oh, now my puzzles, now my progress saves at the puzzle. Okay, that makes life much easier. This music is so cool. What happens if I go this way? I'm gonna wander a little bit here. I cannot fight, I cannot think, but with patience, I will make my way through. To the east. This is the end. East. I'm kind of wandering a little bit here, so I have no idea what's going to happen. Oh. Ah. oh boy, how did I not take damage? Okay, you're dead. Loving 
free. Okay, I guess I decided to go east instead. Behind this door must be the elevator to the king's castle. You're filled with determination. Wait, what's in here first? What is this? There you are, darling. It's time to have our little showdown. It's time to finally stop the malfunctioning robot. Not. Malfunction. Reprogramming. Get real. This was all just a big show. An act. Alphys has been playing you for a fool the whole time. As she watched you on the screen, she grew attached to your adventure. She desperately wanted to be a part of it. So she decided to insert herself into your story. She reactivated puzzles. She disabled elevators. She enlisted me to torment you. All so she could save you from the dangers that didn't exist. All so you would think she's the great person that she's not. And now, it's time for her finest hour. At this very moment, Alphys is waiting outside the room. During our battle, she will interrupt. She will pretend to deactivate me, saving you one final time. Finally, she'll be the heroine of your adventure. You'll regard her so highly, she'll even be able to convince you not to leave. Or not. You see, I've had enough of this predictable charade. Predictable charade. I have no desire to harm humans. Far from it, actually. My only desire is to entertain. After all, the audience deserves a good show, don't they? And what's a good show without a plot twist? Whoa. There we go. Hey, what's going on? The door just locked itself. Sorry, folks. The old program's been canceled. But we've got a finale that will drive you wild. Real drama, real action, real bloodshed on our new show, Attack of the Killer Robot. All right, here we go. I'm yellow. Yes, I was the one that rearranged the core. I was the one that hired everyone to kill you. That, however, was a short-sighted plan. You know what would be a hundred times better? Killing you myself. Probably what you'll do if things continue in this manner. Listen, darling, I've seen you fight. You're weak. If you continue forward, Asgore will take your soul. And with your soul, Asgore will destroy humanity. But if I get your soul, I can stop Asgore's plan. I can save humanity from destruction. Then, using your soul, I'll cross through the barrier and become the star I've always dreamed of being. Hundreds, thousands, no, millions of humans will watch me. What am I dodging here? Blitz, glamour, I'll finally have it all. So what if a few people have to die? That show business, baby. Uh, I can't see what's going on in there, but don't give up, okay? There's one last way to beat medicine. It's... This is a work in progress, so don't judge it too hard. But you know how medicine always faces forward? That's because there's a switch on his backside. So if you can turn him around and press the switch, he'll be vulnerable. Gotta go. medicine and there's a mirror behind oh a mirror right i have to look perfect for our grand finale where is it did you just flip my switch you're gonna blow up what just happened oh, yes. what just happened oh 
my. If you flip my switch, that can only mean one thing. You're desperate for the premiere of my new body. Oh, okay. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So, as thanks, I'll give you a handsome reward. I'll make your last living moments absolutely beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Meditin X makes his premiere. All right. His weak point is his heart-shaped core. Oh, that didn't touch me. Come on. Oh no! Oh man! What just happened? I have no idea what just happened. What happens if I go up the elevator? I'm gonna. Oh, I would have ended up here anyway. I would have ended up here anyway if I just went this way. Seems like you could just skip Meditin's monologue by turning him around now. What? What will I do? I'll skip it. I told Meditin there was something cool behind him. Really? Where? Oh, what? Clever, very clever. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What if I just let his ratings drop? What happens if I do that? Maybe I'll just restart the battle and do it again. Or maybe the ratings need to go through the roof. That's a question. What do you most love about can blame you. Medicine is saving your essay for future use. What is happening? Your essay really showed everyone your heart. Why don't I show you mine? To hit his heart. This is all so confusing. <laughs> so now I know to turn him around, but I died. How do I know that now? What? What hit me? Why do I keep dying? I'm dead already. This is going to take me forever. What hit me? I don't know how to beat you. As always, I hate looking up how to beat bosses, but I have to with this one. Apparently other players die in, with this a lot too. I have to get his rating up to 10,000 and have all his limbs blown off or have 12,000. Oh, come on, game! I feel like I'm playing Cuphead! This is ridiculous. What?! I have died so many times. This is stupid. I did it! I did it! Yes! Oh, that took me all afternoon! Oh! Oh 
unlucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this, our last show? Oh, hi, Meditin. I really like watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life. Vicariously, I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode? I'll miss you, Meditin. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh. No, wait! Wait! Uh, uh, they already hung up. I'll take another caller! Meditin, your show made us so happy. Meditin, I don't know what I'll watch without you. Meditin, there's a Meditin shaped hole in my Meditin shaped heart. Ah, I, I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters, they only have me. If I left, the underground would lose its spark. I'd leave an aching void that can never be filled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. <laughs> it's all for the best anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power and, well, I'll be alright. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. <sighs> that was painful and enraging. Let's move on, please. I I managed to open the lock. Are you two? Oh my god. Meditin! Meditin, are you... Thank God, it's just the batteries. Meditin, if you were gone, I would have... I would have... I mean, hey, it's no problem, you know? He's just a robot. If you messed it up, I could always just build another. Why don't you go on ahead? I am gonna go on ahead and get out of this cursed room. <sighs> Hope Asgore's not that hard. Sorry about that. Let's keep going. Okay. So you're about to meet Asgore, huh? You must be pretty excited about all that, huh? Yeah, can I go? You'll finally, finally get to go home. I know. What do you have to say to me? Oh, nothing then. Wait. I mean, um, I was just going to uh, say goodbye and I can't take this anymore. I lied to you, so you did blame me. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. What? It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. I'm sorry. I have to kill him. I don't know what to do. This is a long elevator ride. Where does this lead? The elevator is in use. Okay. Where are you? Show yourself, Asgore. What is 
this? Is this? No. This it can't be. Toria? A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen in the hallway. It's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? If I have room. Alright, there we go. What's this? There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Yes. Room under renovations. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. It's a trophy. Number one knows Nelson Champs 98. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Azriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. He transformed into a being with an incredible power. With the human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset back to the village of the humans. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But he didn't. Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and 
and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. What is this? I stopped. Sands? So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an, it's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? And considering what you've done, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you were honest with yourself. What happens now, we leave up to you. At the beginning of the game, Torio told me not to kill anyone. But it's how you survive. I can't torture these monsters any longer. The entire war started just because the monster cared enough to take the human back. And they thought the monster killed the human. And I've just been down here killing all of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them. That's deep.
throne room. Here we go. Or not. I hate to do this to you guys, but I'm gonna leave this one here so I can get you guys for one more. Leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you like, tell me what I can do better. This game is deep. It kind of shows you who you really are. The choices you've made. Like, how much pain you've caused. I guess I kind of forgot about those acronyms from the beginning of the game. I think Toriel explained them to me. Wow. Well, I hope you guys come back for the finale. And as always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. Bye-bye.